Dreadif recognizes the barrier. We bring people together to talk about how to get rid of the barrier. And when push comes to shove, we shove. We shove with all the tools we have. I'm Michelle Uzetta, Senior Counsel at Dreadif. We take on cases challenging unlawful housing discrimination so people with disabilities have equal access to safe, accessible, and affordable homes in communities of their choosing. I'm a special education attorney. It's sad to think that in 2023, even now, years after Brown versus Board of Education, disabled students still are not taught how to access the basic building block of life, which is learning how to read. It's my job to get school districts, get states to provide that basic building block to provide them the access to literacy that they need. In California, we've had a lot of work on strengthening and supporting access to reproductive care, including abortion. In some of that work, there isn't necessarily a recognition that for people with disabilities who can become pregnant, there are built-in barriers. There are barriers to getting healthcare, to getting on the table. There are barriers to making appointments. Finally, we're getting research on how much providers find it difficult to deal with people who use wheelchairs, with people who have developmental disabilities and so forth. You have women and people who are pregnant and in that situation looking for reproductive care. They are facing barriers that are specific to disability, but that aren't necessarily recognized by those who are in the area of reproductive care, reproductive justice, and reproductive rights. A lot of what we do is educating people to recognize barriers. We're about creating a world that doesn't have those barriers, where the default is not having a barrier, rather than a default where the barriers all exist. Sometimes it takes pushing. Sometimes it takes a lot of pushing. And Dredif has been pushing since 1979.